Hello, everybody. So we're going to do a little bit more Daggerfall. Uh, we are, I believe, on almost, I think, level three. So let's go ahead and jump on in and let's see what we do. So yeah, so I believe I am 73% into level three. I have no current quests other than the main, which actually, this is really the only thing you gotta do. As far as uh, main quests, actually, let's go outside. So for anyone that's wondered about if you have to do the main quest or not in Daggerfall, the only part of the main quest you really need to do is going to go beat this person. There's a minor matter of letter he sent to Dag. That's that part. Then open up your inventory. That's the Lady uh, Christiana. So click use. You need to go do this. So let's go ahead and do this. Once you get past this part, you're pretty much safe. Uh, if you don't do this part and the time runs out, you basically, I think, you become enemy of the Emperor and people start hunting you. <laughs> so yeah, so if you don't want to be hunted, do this part. So, uh, darn it. Uh, use, where do I need to go here? Broadmont Wood. Broadmont, Broadmont Wood. And the dancing bug. Okay. B. Daggerfall. Find. for the dancing mug. All right, we got three ends, so let's go that way and we'll just ask when we get to, when we see people. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a video showing at some point because this is this is unity with um this is unity with mods i want to do um at some point i want to make a video showing daggerfall as is daggerfall with mods i mean a daggerfall unity with nothing and then daggerfall unity with mods which i mean that's what this is just in case people are interested i do though slightly find it funny that i'm having fun playing a 1996 game I mean, between the mods and Unity, it, it definitely feels different than original Daggerfall. It feels, it, honestly, it feels like a new game. <laughs> of course. But you can't click on these. There we go. Uh, thank you for responding to my letter. I am Lady Brissini. Uh, let me bring you to date on the fair specter of King Lysandus. Haunts the streets of Daggerfall at night. Trying to communicate with him is futile. He will only go occasionally among the word vengeance. But that is only a coherent word, of, word I've ever heard him utter. If you are ever in Daggerfall, do not wander the city at night. They are certain to be attacked by his legion of ghosts, which I have. It would be, and then they waited for me when I came outside, and they killed me. It would be probably more gainful to investigate those who might have wronged Lysandus to find the cause behind his torment. I do not know the royal, if the royal family of Daggerfall or any other person or person's merit more suspicion. 
the major parts of the bay, Sentinel, Wayrest, and Daggerfall may be a good places to start. In the manner of the letter, the Emperor's agent says that he was unable to hand deliver it to the Queen because of the war, he hired a courier who supposedly delivered the letter in his stead. We do not even know the name of the courier. Obviously, there is little information of use, but it would be worthwhile to see whether the letter arrived at Castle Daggerfall at all. How you decide to do this is entirely your decision. I will contact you if any new information should surface. I'm leaving Daggerfall soon. My position here has been compromised and my life is in danger. Not mention my name in court. It is more likely to hurt than help. Okie doke. So now we are done with that and we do not need to worry about if we want to skip this main quest and never touch it again, we don't have to and there's no penalties for it. So, so yeah, so now we can just wander around and be a murder hobo. All right, so let's see if we can find some work. What do you mean a little Nord like me? I'm a perfectly nice guy. He's not talking to me anymore. Here we go. Please help me. My friend Rodard Garecroft is missing. I'm afraid that he might have been hurt. I will pay you 350 if you find if you find him. Sure. Our prayers have been answered. Uh, Rodard has not been seen for four days. I'm very worried about him. He has been consorting with um, Bedeval Ashley and Victoria Mastersley. You might want to start with them. If you can't find Rodard within two days, you need not search any further. That doesn't give me exactly a lot of time, does it? Sure, so I need to find these two people. Maybe here? Are so rude in this town. <laughs> oh, I love these people. Man, I kind of want to go on like a murdering rampage with all these people. Makes you think that the people who made Daggerfall, maybe they had issues with people, or people have had issues with them. Because people are always so rude. Just go not too far to the east if you don't mind walking. Was helpful. Thank you. All right, so that's one. That one, I think. Yep, there. I, 
kind of want to see because the other was it a way was it way east? Oh crap! I love how some of the stuff you can walk on and some of the stuff you can't. Well, if she says west. We know it's uh, back that way. Still going east. Do you know, cat? I really am not that far away. this village to the ground they're going to give me a complex thank you all right so we are there okay I'm just gonna play an evil guy and I'm just gonna go around and kill everybody if they speak rude to me, I kill them. Sounds like a good good way to go. I think it's that one. Yeah. to me? Oh, wait. What am I doing? I've got a cart. cart my horse can move side to side. He is very talented. Northern Sea, I haven't seen Roger since the day before yesterday. You could ask Renasa Yoming or Bedival Ashley. One of them might know. Wasn't that the dude that gave us the quest?
Oh, thank you. for residents, right? Yes, we are. <sighs> Try it on all of you. He's not talking to me. I believe. Okay, this is what the hell. Let's go back to Aragor, uh, wherever the heck he was. Dancing mug, I think.
I have another bugged quest. Like, I'm wondering, okay, is this the other, like, why did they give me this person twice? People, hmm. I think it bugged out on me. I think this was supposed to be someone different. I'm hoping maybe they send me somewhere else. Then I think that one was at... We went there for the first guy. Second, third. I think that's where he was, so... Could have given you a coin there, dude. But that's okay. Yep, there we go. Same person, it was a bug. Copper Ford residence on your map. Right there. up to this i thought so by the normal cia he had a nasty fight with roderick a few days ago roderick Garrett left town and hasn't been seen since no i don't know where he went if they updated the quest.
Well, I guess we go back to have to do know that he skipped town. give a little bit of piece of advice on this game is write down major notes because the quest most a lot of times don't update especially these this type like the main quest will update but the rest of these really don't so if you don't write it down you're not gonna it's gonna you're yeah you're you're, you're done you're not gonna remember anything and then when you try to go back and talk to those people to get that to see what they said they don't talk to you so yeah good piece of advice is any quest that's a side quest write down the details write down the details or to, or actually in this day and age back in back in that day we had to write down the uh if i guess actually that's a that's a good point that's a good difference between now and back then you know back then you didn't have cell phones you didn't have you know there was clip art but it wasn't easy so you had to write all this stuff down because there wasn't websites that had it. So you had to, you know, there was, I mean, there was a few websites popping up after people figured it out, but it was slow in coming and not everyone knew how to, you know, update, you know, put it out websites and stuff like that. So, I mean, we're talking, you know, mid nineties and it was a very different world. So you basically, I mean, I remember when I was playing, I had a notebook on on the side and every little quest I'd write down the main details and sometimes I would skip something that I needed and I'd basically have to abandon that quest or just let it run out of time so so yeah so nowadays it's really nice just be able to take a screenshot or take your phone take a pic you know do whatever do whatever you need to do or now most of these quests have websites that you can go and take a look and see what you missed something or whatever but yeah, it's a, definitely a difference between now and then. Yay, we got money. Alrighty, second part of today. Now that I've got some videos out on YouTube, now I can just play. But I'll just put this out as the gameplay video. So we need we need some work. Oh, screw off! He's so mean to me. Donna Hawkford might have work for you. Rat and Huntsman. Thank you very much. Rats and Huntsman. It's over there. So let's go that way. Get a cart. Yeah, the one thing I didn't realize and didn't remember, I think I probably knew this, you know, back in 96, but you don't get XP for doing quests. This is kind of like old school D&D, &D, where, um, where if you went by the rule book, you only, you know, you only got XP from um, killing things. Actually, that's a good point. So, basically, you know, old school D&D. &D. 
um, you're if if you're a good GM, you figured ways to give XP for other things than just killing things. But if you went directly by the rule book, we're talking about you know first edition, second edition, advanced D and D, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, the only thing you got XP for was killing things. This game took that same thing. If if you looked, if you remember earlier, I was seventy three percent when I started today. I just finished that quest. I'm still seventy three percent. So the only thing you get, the only thing that you get experience from, is from these three things. These first two, and this. That's it. If that, so if I don't use any of that during the quest while I'm trying to do the quest, that's it. I just get money. That's so. So yeah. So that's the one thing about this type of game where games nowadays definitely do more of a a lot better as far as what they want to give you um, of what they give you XP for is more interactions, things like that. And yes, you still get XP for combat and all that kind of good stuff, but more of the stuff, more of the things that you get um, XP for is for interactions for everything, everything you do, you get a little bit of something. And just depending on how hard that something is, is how much XP you get for it. So that's another, that's a little difference between games back back then like this one and games nowadays so I, I, I do like nowadays more because no everything I do should be something but yeah so that's you know that's that oh, there we go his name, I don't know how I feel about you, but I do need a favor. My sister, Master Croft, is having a birthday next month, and I can really use some red flowers for the celebration. It's worth 376 gold pieces. What do you say? Sure. Very good. This is easy gold. You'll have to go to Lord Rynick's provisions to the to find the exact kind I need. Talk to Elaine Ash, Ashley. She runs the place. So Rodnick's provisions. There we go. Someone actually talked to me. All right, so directly west. This guy, or do you have any problem doing a bit of smuggling for me? Oh, already a quest. Uh, risk, but a certainty of profit. Both of us, she shared. To an sure. Grand, here's the scheme, Finn. I have a little side business exporting Agrotat to Van Vanvold, but my regular agents are being watched by the King's Guard. If you can get the aggregate into Vanvold to a place called the Wickfield Residence, my client. We'll give you 299 pieces, I mentioned. Don't talk to any lawmen while you have the aggregate and don't fail to get to Wickfield Residence in 24 days. Uh, okay, so we need to get to Vanvold, Wickfield Residence, okay? Uh, and government, the underworld, for you won't fail me, good luck. I think I have to find the red flowers. I can't remember. I've done this quest before. Well, I've done a quest like this before.
We're looking for what? Red berries? There we go. It's your way to delivering an item. Jesus Christ. Grateful of time. That's someone willing to work. Let's take the this to the Gink House here in town. He'll give you two or three gold. Am I even in the right spot? Even in the right spot. Nope. Picked up two quests. Still looking for a dwarven weapon, too. If I ever see one. Flowers. We want to find a few quests here. Birthday present. talk to any guards, do we? No, we do not. <laughs> oh, good thing I gotta go that way. So we need to go there, and then we need to go back there. Time she's been busy lady here's her 33 she promised. All right, there we go. We finished up a quest. I need to get over that way. Yeah, so we finished up another quest and
that's done. Now, what else we got left here? Why, I'm gonna guess you're gonna leave my quest log here sooner or later. All right, so this is the one from it. They go to Vanvold. Wickfield Residence. I can't even get there fast enough. You gave me a quest that I can't get there fast. That's annoying. Or maybe this one was 24 days. Okay. I need the Wickfield residence. Look, I dropped on my... Your friend, you've been set up by... You've been set up. Carnival Morseworth is not at the Wickfield residence. A knight named is waiting there to ambush you. If you want to get rid of... Yeah, you're gonna bring it to me at the green stag. Oh now, who do we trust? Hmm. Who do we trust? Thing is why would they <laughs> why would I why would he set me up Like, it doesn't make any sense why the guy would set me up. I mean, I don't think, I haven't done anything to anybody. I like this town layout. It's kind of nice. About to give it to the other guy just for his own fact I can't find the freaking residence. Try to be polite. 
They get upset. <laughs> okay, so they're right next to each other. That's one, that's one. So let's, let's save. Looking, I don't know what I was looking at. <laughs> There's a night. So, I was set up. just disappear now? Green stag here in the dead goblin hostel. Oh, dead goblin hostel. Dead Goblin Hostel. Uh, green Stag. Rory, okay. place there is it could be ah oh, there we go this is your brewing and i hate to have you caught up in it i'll take that out my service cleaned up the involvement of the pot smuggling scheme you know you think what about money was I supposed to get money? I 
kind of want to go back and beat that guy up. But we are at that point where I think this is probably a good place to go ahead and save and call it a day. But hope you guys enjoyed this little playthrough. Uh, we were set up. I can't believe it. And I trusted them with my life. And we did a few uh, little side quests. Uh, actually, how much? Go back to here. Uh, a five. Okay, even that fight didn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> but there we go. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed the, enjoyed the little gameplay. Put out a couple other videos today on some things that I, while I was playing today, kind of went over and uh, kind of hit me. It was like, oh yeah, this was much different back in 96. But, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good one and I will catch y'all later. Bye.